हेलो एवरी वन ई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज थर्ड क्लास ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन एर्लियर क्लासेस वी लर्न वॉट इज डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन टिल नाउ वी डिड ट्वेल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स कैलकुलेटिंग डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट फाइंडिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स फॉर विच द फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड इन दिस क्लास वॉट एवर द सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स वी विल डू इन ऑल सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स लॉग विल बी देर नाउ रिलेटेड टू लॉगर दम वॉट यू नीड टू नो लॉग ए बेस बी इज डिफाइंड ओनली वेन दिस ए एंड बी बोथ मस्ट बी पॉजिटिव a must be greater than 0 and b must be greater than 0 if a is 0 this function is not defined if a is less than 0 this function is not defined log a base b is defined only when a and b are positive and in the base b cannot be see i said b is greater than 0 b is greater than 0 and b cannot be equal to 1 if b is equal to 1 then also this function is not defined all these things we already learned in the definition of logarithmic function to understand the problems in this class these things you must know this log a base b is defined only when a and b are positive real numbers and this base cannot be equal to 1 you need to keep these points in your mind to understand today's problems you observe this question number 13 we want to find domain of logarithm of x plus 2 base x when this function is defined see here this part must be greater than 0 and this part also must be greater than 0 and base cannot be equal to 1 that is what we learned just now okay so here logarithm is defined only for positive real numbers so what i'll write here x plus 2 must be greater than 0 and this x also greater than 0 and this base value cannot be equal to 1 now what i need to find for what values of x all these things holds good okay here x plus 2 greater than 0 means what is x take 2 to other side x is greater than minus 2 and x is greater than 0 and x not equal to 1 to identify the x values which satisfies all three conditions i'll use number line you observe the numbers here minus 2 is there 0 is there 1 is there i'll mark them on the number line as per number line order now x greater than minus 2 i'll mark that x greater than minus 2 here equality is not there that means this is that one see x greater than minus 2 means all these values are all these values are greater than minus 2 okay now you see here x greater than 0 x greater than 0 means see 0 is not included all these values sir you observe all these values are greater than 0 now what is the intersection part of these two what are the common elements in this set as well as in this set this part this part is common in both okay if you take any number here that value is greater than minus 2 and that value is greater than 0 also and you observe here one more condition is there what is that x is not equal to 1 x is not equal to 1 you observe this is the common part na in that x equal to 1 is there so i need to remove that x equal to 1 what is domain of this function the values of x which satisfies all three conditions the values are here see so actually 0 to infinity but i need to remove one na so what i'll write open interval 0 comma 1 union open interval 1 to infinity so what is domain of this function domain of this function is open interval 0 comma 1 union 1 to infinity if i take any value in this interval then this function is defined that's why this is known as domain of this function you observe this question number 14 we need to calculate domain of this function here whatever is there this must be greater than 0 if nothing is given means it comes under common logarithm that means here base 10 will be there here you do not worry about what is there here logarithm is defined for only positive real numbers na what you need to know whatever this part is there here this part must be greater than 0 so modulus of log x must be greater than 0 and and you observe this one in this here x is there log x that means this also must be greater than 0 what i am saying you observe log of something that means this is defined only for positive real numbers 
that's why i written this expression is greater than zero and again log is there no? log of something that means this also must be greater than zero that's why i written here now i need to find the x values which satisfies both the condition you observe here as modulus is there you see modulus is there modulus always gives the positive expression but modulus gives an expression of zero also is it possible that this value will become zero is it possible that this value will become zero yes when i take x is one what is log one value log one value zero now so here i cannot take x equal to one if i take x equal to one what happening if i take x equal to one log one is zero modulus of zero is zero that means here this condition fails so what are the x values satisfying this inequality you take any x value other than one this condition holds good and x greater than zero so for these x values both the inequalities holds good then how i'll write domain of this function here you observe x greater than zero all positive real numbers but x cannot be equal to one so how i can write uh, i can write like this open interval zero to one union one to infinity you can observe from 0 onwards all the positive real numbers are there except 1 1 is not included so for these values this function is defined so what is the domain of this function open interval 0 comma 1 union 1 comma infinity you observe this question number 15 i want to find domain of this function what is this function logarithm of modulus of x square minus 9 what we know logarithm is defined only for positive real numbers whatever the expression is there it must be greater than zero so what i'll write here modulus of x square minus 9 must be greater than zero now i need to find the values of x which satisfies this condition you observe this is modulus we know that modulus always gives positive real numbers there is a chance of zero also is it possible that this expression will become zero is it possible that this expression will become 0? Yes, it is possible. When I take x equal to plus 3, 9 minus 9, 0. Then at the time this condition fails. When I take x equal to minus 3, at the time also this will become 0. So when I take x value 3 minus 3, in that case this inequality fails. Other than minus 3 plus 3, you take any real number, this condition holds good. So what is domain of this function? Domain is all real numbers except 3 comma minus 3 you take any real value suppose you take 4 you will get positive expression only you take 100 this is positive expression only you take minus 2 this is positive expression only you take any real value other than 3 and minus 3 this condition holds good so what is the domain of this function domain of this function is all real numbers except 3 minus 3 you observe this question number 16 we want to find domain of this function 1 divided by logarithm of x minus 2. Here log is there. Na? When log is there, this expression must be positive. That means x minus 2 greater than 0. Then only this log of something is defined. Okay. Now, as it is in the form of f of x divided by g of x, this denominator part cannot be equal to 0. Is it possible that denominator part will be 0? Yes. When this value is 1, when this value is 1 at the time this denominator will become 0 x minus 2 cannot be equal to 1 if x minus 2 equal to 1 log 1 value is 0 that means this denominator is becoming 0 this function is not defined okay so here x not equal to you take minus 2 to this side 3 so x cannot be equal to 3 if x equal to 3 3 minus 2 is 1 denominator is becoming 0 this function is not defined now we need to find the x values which satisfies both the conditions see x minus 2 greater than 0 means x is greater than 2 so i need the values which are greater than 2 and not equal to 3 so what is domain of this function i can write like this domain x greater than 2 2 to infinity but in between 2 to infinity 3 is there na? i need to remove 3 so i'll write like this open interval 2 to 3 union 3 to infinity so domain of this function is open interval 2 comma 3 union 3 comma infinity you observe this question number 17 i need to find domain of this function 
logarithm of x square minus 1 base 3 plus x. You know that logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only. That means this expression must be greater than 0. x square minus 1 must be greater than 0. And whatever the base is there, that is also greater than 0. So 3 plus x greater than 0. And this base cannot be equal to 1. That is what we learned in the beginning of this class. This base cannot be equal to 1. 3 plus x cannot be equal to 1. I'll start simplifying all these things. You observe here, x square minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 into x minus 1. Okay, what x value satisfies this condition? For that, I am going to use wavy curve method that we learned in previous class also. Here x value is minus 1. Here you equate this to 0, you will get x value minus 1. You equate this to 0, you will get x value 1. Here rightmost corner plus and then alternate symbols minus plus. As we want greater than 0, that means positive sign. So when x value is in this interval, this expression is positive. When x value is in this interval, this expression is positive. Now come here. What is x here? x is greater than minus 3. You take plus 3 to other side. x is greater than minus 3. And here x cannot be equal to. You take 3 to other side. 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Now, I'll mark all these conditions on the number line so that we can easily identify intersection of all these conditions. Okay. Now, you observe here what numbers are there. I'll mark first. Minus 3. Okay. Minus 2. Minus 2 is there here. Minus 2 I written. Next. Minus 1. 1. Okay. You observe this one. Minus infinity to minus 1. This part. This is the part. Minus infinity to minus 1. Okay. And 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity also I'll mark. 1 to infinity also I'll mark. Now, x greater than minus 3. This is over. These are the x values. These are the x values. Minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. These are the x values satisfies this inequality. x greater than minus 3. x greater than minus 3 means here. Here, greater than minus 3. All these values are greater than minus 3. Okay. And x not equal to minus 2. You cannot take this value. You cannot take this value open circle. Domain is the common area of all these intervals. You observe this is the part common in both. So open interval minus 3 to minus 2. Okay minus 2 is not included because x cannot be equal to minus 2 and minus 2 comma minus 1. This is also covered which is common in both and this is also common. So union 1 to infinity. So if I take x value in this interval, then all three conditions are satisfied. If you want, you can check, right? So domain of this function is what? Domain of this function is open interval minus 3 comma minus 2 union minus 2 comma minus 1 union 1 comma infinity. You observe this question number 18. We want to find domain of this function. What is this function? 1 divided by logarithm of mod x. In this logarithm is there, na? this expression must be greater than 0. I will write here, mod x must be greater than 0. And you observe given function in the form of f of x divided by g of x. That means this denominator cannot be equal to 0. Is it possible that denominator will become 0? Yes. When this value is 1, log 1 value is 0. Na? So this modulus of x cannot be equal to 1. Now, I need to find the values of x which satisfies both the conditions. Modulus of x greater than 0. See here, all real numbers satisfies this condition except 0. All real numbers satisfies this condition except 0. Suppose if I take x is minus 2, what is modulus of minus 2? Modulus of minus 2 is 2. 2 is greater than 0, satisfying the modulus of 5. Modulus of 5 is 5. 5 is greater than 0. What x value satisfies this condition means all real numbers, all real numbers except 0. When I take x is 0, modulus of 0 is 0. 0 is not greater than 0, 0 equal to 0. What I am trying to say, what x value satisfies this condition? All real numbers satisfies this condition except 0. Okay, and, mod and modulus of x not equal to 1. When modulus of x value will become 1? When x is 1, modulus of 1 is 1. When x is minus 1, what is modulus of minus 1? Modulus of minus 1 is plus 1 only. Na? We already know that. So when x is minus 1, modulus of minus 1 is 1. 
So when modulus of x will be 1, when x equal to 1, then modulus of x is 1. When x equal to minus 1, then also modulus of x is 1. So x cannot be 1, x cannot be minus 1. I hope you are understanding. If x is 1, this is log 1. Log 1 means this denominator will becoming 0. This function is not defined. When x is minus 1, modulus of minus 1 is 1. So log 1 is 0. Denominator is becoming 0. So this function is not defined. That's why x value cannot be 0, x cannot be 1, x cannot be minus 1. So what is domain of this function? Domain of this function is all real numbers. All real numbers satisfies this condition except 0, minus 1, plus 1. You take 1, this denominator is becoming 0. You take minus 1, this denominator is becoming 0. When you take x is 0, log 0 is not defined. Logarithm is defined only for positive real numbers. Na. So domain of this function is all real numbers except 0, minus 1, 1. I hope you understand. Today, what are the problems we did? All are based on logarithms. If you like this video, I will be very happy. And share this video with your friends. And in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.